My name is John Pierce. I am a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your service catalog and also import it through a CSV file. I'm currently logged into the Blue Client. And I'm going to show you the three different tables and or objects that make up your service catalog. I'm going to select Searching on the menu bar, Search Manager, and I'm going to change my association to Service. And I'm going to select Active Services. I've already deleted all of the services that comes with the out-of-the-box Sherwell installation. I'm just going to select New, and this is where you can input your service name, your service type, and all of the other information that is relevant to a specific instance of a service. I'm going to select Tools, Table Management, I'm not going to save my changes. I'm going to scroll down to Incident, and we're going to take a look at the Incident Category table. Currently there's also no records here, but this is where once you input the information in the, in the service business object, it'll be accessible here. And then you can type in an incident category. Let's call it add change. And then I'm going to select save. Go back to your grid view. And then select subcategory. Select new. And this is where you select the information that was inputted into the service business object and then you're going to select the category. And this is where you can also enter in the subcategory. So for example, I have a test service with a category of add change and a subcategory of submit incident. You have the option to have it visible in the customer portal. You can assign it to a default team, should there be one for this specific subcategory. And you can identify if it's an incident or service request. In this instance, I'm going to select Incident and select Save. I'm now going to select New Incident and show you how it lays out within the business object of Incident. As you're creating a new incident, you can scroll down to the Classify section, select Service, then your category, and then your subcategory. And how you want to build out your service catalog depends on a number of factors. You may want to separate it out by application and then application name and then certain aspects that tie to each one of those applications that you may want to report on. So those are the three areas within Sherwell that you'll need to input information into as you build your service catalog. Service is a major business object, and you also have your category and subcategory tables. I'm now going to go to the orange client and show you how to import your service catalog from a CSV file. I've already clicked it on database, and I'm going to select run a one-off data import. Select next on the welcome screen. Browse to where you have your service catalog. Click open. And you want to change your primary business object to service. So we're going to start with the service business object. There it is. Select next. Select the service column. And you're going to map it to the service service name field. Select next. We're not going to be setting any additional values. Select next. And I want to select ignore duplicate values because there's going to be multiple instances throughout your service catalog. Here, I'll just show you that real quick. You'll see within the service catalog, the service, you'll have multiple entries. And we don't want to have every single instance of account management put in there. So we only want to have it in there once, and by checking that box, click Add and select Service. It'll ignore all duplicate values that are within the column of service. 
select next. I'm going to delete existing data because I want everything to be clean. Be sure to always test your import. That'll be fine. Select import. Import is complete. I'm going to just jump back into the blue client and pull up all my services. And you'll see that the service account name is only in there once. Jumping back to the orange client, now we're going to import your service catalog against the two other tables, which is category, incident category, and incident subcategory. So selecting incident category, and I know that the two fields that are in there, per my earlier demonstration, is not only service, but now it's going to be category as well. And then select incident, map it to incident category. Select next. Again, no fields to set there. On this process, I want to select ignore duplicate values of category. Select next. Delete any existing data. Test. And that's fine. I'm going to select import. Jump back to the blue client. Let's take a look at the incident category table. Now you see that you have service and category in there. Jumping back to the orange client, we're now going to finally populate the last table with InsureWell, which is the incident subcategory. Select next. And all the fields are already mapped. Incident type, category, subcategory, service. Select next, next. And in this step, you're not going to ignore duplicate values as you may have, for example, submit incident in different areas throughout category. I'm going to select next, delete any data within that table. Test import, successful, and now import complete. Jumping back to the blue client, let's select incident subcategory. There we go. Now you'll see you have your service, your category, and everything is in there. I'm going to go back to incident. Let's create a new one. Now you'll see that you have, I forgot to set the field to have all services active. So I'm just going to create a one step real quick that will update the status. down, update business object, and I'm going to scroll down to the status. This is one quick way to fix something if you forget about it. I'm going to select it as active. Hit OK. I'm going to right click and I'm going to run for the entire group. Let's go back to creating that incident. So now under service, now that I fixed that, you'll see that all of your services are listed. So I'm going to select, let's say, employee support. Now it's going to have a category of add change. And now you're going to have a subcategory of, let's say, new employee setup. And that is how you can manually create your service catalog. Or you can import it if you design it through a CSV file. I hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to check us out on our YouTube channel at Beyond20LLC and visit us at Beyond20.com.